on top of the sculpture garden in Old Yaffa uh, at the Elana Gore Museum. Okay. This is my new ring from David Benzion. Tropical, the pomelo or that one, the pomelo, the yellow mm -hmm. stuff right. that is used to eat actually, or also with salad. The sorry, that one, the yellow one, or the green one. That's the cream food. Cream food, yeah. Sorry, that's one.
once every four years, the Nabataeans used to have what we call Nabataeans based on people from all over the kingdom. Yeah. We're in Petra, which is in the south of Jordan, and we just walked about an hour through something called the sea, which is a natural tunnel. And we've just come out of the tunnel, and we see this magnificent building called Treasure, built by the Nabataeans about the second century CE. foreigners living in Egypt in the 19th century. Italians, Greeks, French, uh, British, of course. Uh, this became the ultimate shopping place where all the uh, bars, pizzerias, French restaurants, movie theaters, uh, ice cream places are, and where all the fashion came from Europe to the grand stores. The first grand stores of Egypt appeared in downtown and all of them were owned by the Egyptian Jews by the Egyptian uh, Jewish businessmen. They still keep the names, by the way. Uh, Adas, Rivoli, uh, Pontrimoli, uh, Omar Afendi, we still have the names, Shalon, but they are now, uh, they are no longer their property. And we'll talk about the uh, Egyptian Jews later on. We have a very interesting episode about them. So look above of the shops to the buildings. Uh, watch the different style of architecture everywhere we go in this area. Qasr al-Nil, the street we are driving in now, is one of the most famous places, a very popular uh, street for shopping for clothes. This is Nefertiti.
inside the pyramid or underneath it. The soul ascends to where Sun God Ra is. But according to their imagination, when the time comes to resurrect this body, what if the soul comes and it does not find it in good shape? What do we do? Do we lose the body? What if we lose it? There is no resurrection <coughs> going to take place. And therefore, there will never be a life after death, which is the essence and the base of all the belief of the ancient Egyptians. And this is why they built all those tombs and temples. So, the way, the best way to do it was to build to the east side of the pyramid a temple in which on daily basis we would be offering to the king.
100 men here I stand on top of the capital of Akkas. Uh, 134 columns in the building and 53,000 square feet is the total size of this. Uh, we move from here to Sphinx and the Sphinx and the pyramid and the king's hall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My grandfather said Christmas was for kids and snow. We are in Esme, which is in the southern like our Egypt. I, like, like Esme and Fred. And this is a very small. Greco Roman Egyptian temple that they are restoring, and the colors are absolutely amazing. going down the river. <sighs> He's going at a pretty good clip.
Ulysses II, and we're walking around Lake Nasser. What's it called? Sir? Abu Simbel. Huh? Abu Simbel. of those had a worship ceremony every day and had a certain group of few priests that were offering to and taking care of it. Ramesses sitting on his throne wearing the double crown of Egypt, upper and lower Egypt, over the traditional royal headdress, the cobra snake protecting his forehead, the uh, uh, false royal beard and the smiling face of the pharaoh who is very sure of himself looking toward Nubia, huh? threatening the Nubians and looking toward where the Nile flood starts and comes from. Ramesses here also represents at the sides of his throne the unification of the Poland and all his enemies falcon-headed man, the god standing with the sun disk over his head. And he is holding different signs in either hand. In one hand, which is the uh, right hand, that's Ma'at, and in the left hand, Wusr. So it's Wusr Ma'at Ra. That's the name of Ramesses II. And he, Ramesses, is depicted on either side, worshipping his own name. He was so modest. In addition to the meaning of the name, he is there worshipping his own <coughs> above of the main entrance of the temple. <coughs> Thank you. 
Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Thank you. Try this at home.
Okay. Yeah, he says wait. Yeah, it's got a corner piece, so, yeah. Well, the bread has to stay two hours uh, in the sun to rise, uh -huh. and after it rises, she puts it inside the, the oven. Is there well, there for the actual day? Are there two uh, about 30 minutes in the oven. Are there two together? Mm -hmm. No, it's just one. Just oh, one? Just the way it runs. Yeah. Yeah. And this is only southern Egypt. <laughs> only southern Egypt. <laughs> Who wants to do some baking? Who wants to bake? Oh, sure. Marge, I'll bake. Hands on activity. <laughs> I'll bake. Yes. I'm a good <laughs> do they use okay. yeast? Oh, thank you for that. Okay. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> 